Hello, Moses here. So this is a question looking for the simplest formula that you would get from monosodium glutamate. Uh, you're given the percentages. So I've set up a table for you right here. This is the easiest way you'll do it. So because you're given the percentages, there's no way you can work with this. So you have to assume 100 percent, 100 grams sample because you have 100% of a sample, assume 100 gram of a sample, which means 35.5% will be 35.5 grams, 37.9% will be 37.9 grams. The second step is to convert the grams to moles because we know the law that elements combine in whole number ratios, right? So to get the moles, the formula is formula for finding moles is given mass of atomic mass. So, um, so you get your atomic mass from the periodic table of elements. So you look at the periodic table, you'll find that the atomic mass for atomic mass for um, carbon is 12. So the atomic mass of carbon is 12. So you divide 35.5 grams by 12, divide 4.77 grams by one, which is the atomic mass for hydrogen, divide the mass of nitrogen, 8.29 by 14. All these atomic masses are from your periodic table. So the moles will be found, and I've written them, of course, in three significant figures, because that's what I have up there in three sig figs. And then the next step is to find the whole number ratio, whole molar number ratios, because elements combine in whole numbers. To do that, you look at your answers for your moles and you divide each and every of each of those mole answers by the least value of the answer. So in this case, you look across the least number value I get in terms of moles is 0.592. So I'll divide all this answer by 0 0.9, 0 0.592. That will help me to get whole numbers. So those whole numbers will represent how many carbons, hydrogen, nitrogen, or sodium, or oxygen I have in mono sodium glutamate. Turns out carbon will be five, hydrogen will be eight, nitrogen will be one, sodium will be one, oxygen will be four. So the empirical formula is right there. Five of carbons, eight of hydrogens, one of nitrogen, we don't write the one, one of sodium, we don't write the one, it's implied, and then four oxygens, that's the empirical formula. I hope that helped out. Again, if you need personal private tutoring, go to my inbox uh, and get me in there with we'll schedule time for more exercises. Thank you. Hope that helps. Give thumbs up.